are walking on trails outside of the Patagonia mountain range and it is absolutely stunning. There's glaciers, meadows, trees, moss. It's beautiful. Let's go. Part of Argentina that's cut off from mainland Argentina, outside of the southernmost city in the world, Ushuaia, lies a spectacular Argentinian national park, Tierra del Fuego. Spanish for land of fire, this park is massive, covering 240 square miles of the southern Argentinian landscape. But you're probably wondering, that's quite a green park for being called land of fire. The origins can be traced back to Magellan, who sailed through the area in 1520 and noticed fires of the indigenous Yamana and Selkin people who inhabited the Patagonia region at the time. They remained in the area until the 19th century, when the European settlers' diseases wiped out the nearly 3,000-person population. Today, the area is a vast national park and has been since 1960. Chances are, if you are in this part of the world, you didn't drive here. You flew or boated here, so getting to the park isn't super easy, or at least we thought. If you head to downtown Ushuaia towards the taxi stands, the taxi drivers are more than willing to take you to the park, which is about 30 minutes outside of town, and wait for you while you explore for a very affordable number of pesos. In the park, you can choose to check it out via train or car. We had our taxi driver take us around in car and checked out cool areas all around the park. We took the scenic route, with our first stop being in Sanada, overlooking the Beagle Channel. Not only were the views stunning, but as you're beginning to see as a theme here, it's home to the furthest south post office on the continent. Next up, we headed towards Cerro Guanaco, that was filled with some wild horses grazing in the grass in amazing mountain ranges. It's just beautiful. We're in the, we're basically in its summertime right now. It's spring turning into summer and uh, you know, a place that's usually typically covered in snow is right now just really, really pretty. Um, just green and lush and uh, almost like a rainforesty, but like a temperate rainforest and just really pretty. And you can start to see some of the lakes are normally frozen over. You have water and you can see the reflection in the mountains and it just looks great. Lake Roca, right down the road, was a huge lake that ran right down the middle between Argentina and Chile. Probably the most famous stop is the end of the last road on earth, which poses a very popular tourist spot of people wanting to get their pictures in front of the sign and offers some amazing views of the Beagle Channel. It looks like he's holding something on his shoulders. I'm not crazy. I don't see it. So like this is, so he looks like this, yeah? Hang on. <laughs> He's pretty mangled. Tierra del Fuego is a great stop if you want to check out the end of the world. And although we only spent a day here, bigger hikes and opportunities to camp make it a fun summer destination. So next time you're um, passing through Ushuaia, check out the southernmost national park in the world. Today's green trees, snow-capped mountains, and lake make this place anything but the land of fire. Hope you liked this video. It's part of a much larger project called South of Everything, which you can find on my YouTube channel. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks.